Welcome to Accurate, the channel of teaching and learning. Accurate, the truth that sets free. to speak the blood of Jesus Christ. May it be an increase that shall be given unto us. Thank you, Father, for your faithful word. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, we pray. Amen and amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. How many are ready for the word of God? Amen. amen. If you are ready for the, for the word of God, I want to hear a strong Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. We want to read our Bibles from the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. Proverbs 23, verse 7. The word of the Lord reads, for, for as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, he says to you, but his heart is not with you. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Amen. And the word of God is saying to us today, As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. I want somebody to repeat this scripture. Can somebody say, as a man thinks in his heart? As a man, man thinks in his heart, heart. So is he. So is he. How difficult is this? The Bible is talking about how a man thinks. The kind of thinking patterns that are in an individual will shape who this person is. Oh, who this person is going to become. Mm. Are we together, people of God? Amen. Amen. Which means there is something that is very, very important about the way that you think about yourself. Okay. Which means man is a product of his thinking patterns. Mm -hmm. Today, I am going to be talking about the power of positive self-image. Can somebody say the power of positive self-image? The power of positive self-image. What are we talking about? When we talk about self-image, we are talking about how you see yourself, how one sees himself or herself. That is what we call self-image. But here we are talking about a positive self-image. That somebody must be looking at themselves, seeing themselves in a positive way. And we are saying, this positive self-image, it has got a lot of power. Mm -hmm. Amen. Can somebody say power? Power. And this is the power that somebody today is supposed to receive and leave this place having in their spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Amen. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. We are talking about the thinking in the heart. Okay, let me just begin by explaining this. When the Bible says, well, as a man thinketh in his heart, here the Bible is not talking about the physical heart that is in your chest, which is, which is pumping blood. That's not the heart we are talking about here. When the Bible at times talk about the heart, it is talking about something that is more spiritual than physical. Okay. 
Here the Bible is talking about an inner depth of yourself which is something that involves your soul. Are we together, people of God? Amen. Remember, a man is a spirit. You are a spirit mm -hmm. that possesses a soul mm -hmm. that lives in a body. Mm -hmm. It means when God created, what he created was the spirit. Mm -hmm. And then the spirit was later given a body, then it possessed a soul. Mm -hmm. The soul has to do with the mind, the brain, the feelings, the attitudes of anybody. These are what we call the soul of the person. Are we together? Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. So what I'm saying today is, this is what the Bible is referring to as the heart. So, the way that somebody feels about, your, about themselves, is those are feelings that are in the soul. The way that you see yourself, you perceive yourself, you think about yourself. All these things have to do with the senses and the feelings, your mind. Are we together, people of God? Amen. So what we are saying here simply is, the soul of a man is supposed to be in a positive state. And the positivity of the state of the soul of man is what shapes who the man eventually becomes. Yeah. As he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Yeah. Right. There is something that is very important which you need to know. We have got so many people that have a problem of hating themselves. There are people who have a problem of failure to forgive oneself. Yeah. If you make a mistake and that mistake costs you something and eventually you are failing even to forgive yourself, you end up suffering from a problem of a negative self-image. You begin to see yourself in a negative way. And whatever it is that you think about yourself is who you will become. And you must understand who is saying this. This is not a man speaking. It is the creator of man. Which means the creator of men understands men yes. more than a man understands himself. Amen. Amen. Are we together, people of God? Amen. Amen. God understands you more than you understand yourself. Amen. So when he says to you, the way that you are thinking every day, the way that you feel about yourself, the way that you see yourself is just a picture of where you are going. You can never see yourself as a fool and you become a wise person in life. You can never think of yourself as a poor person and then you will become rich. Mm. You can never see yourself as somebody who is nothing and then you can become something. Mm. It cannot happen. Yeah. So, we have a problem of having people who God has already released blessings to. You have already been blessed by God. But the problem that is happening is you yourself are condemning yourself. There are people that right now are in the world who are failing to come to the house of God even when you evangelize and invite them to come to the Lord. You will hear somebody saying, I don't think God can forgive me. Me? Do you know what I have done in my life? You think God can hear me? I told you of my story of what happened to me when my friends that I used to drink with and smoke with, when I got born again and I bought my first Bible and then we bumped into each other as I was coming from the bookshop where I bought my Bible and I told you how they laughed they cried tears laughing at me and one even ended up saying you think you you you, you, you think God can hear you have you forgotten who you are you see I'm telling you, I was just a new believer. I just given my life to Christ. And at that time, I was not yet strong. Those, those words, they stayed in me for a long time. Mm. And they continue to repeat in me over and over. Mm. To say, do you think God can hear you? Remember what you have done. 
But it was a lie from the pit of hell. Amen. Are we together, people of God? Amen. Because when a man is in Christ, he is a new creation. Yes. Old things have passed away. Amen. Behold, everything becomes yeah. new. Amen. Amen. Are we together, people of God? Amen. So, the way that you see yourself is very, very important. Having a positive self-image can either work against you when it's on the negative or work to your advantage when it is in the positive. Mm. Some of us right now, we are the ones that are blocking the blessing of God for our lives mm. because we, are, we have looked at our situations and trusted our situations mm. to the point that we are so used to the point that now, even when somebody tells you that God can move you from that situation into a better situation, you are looking at your situation and say, what will have happened? Mm -hmm. There are some people who have situations right now, they are refusing with them. God is saying, give me that situation, I can solve it. Somebody is saying, no, this one, God, you can't manage this one. Mm -hmm. You don't know how long this one has been here. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't care how long you have been in that situation or in that problem. I don't know how long you have tried and failed. I don't know how, I don't care how much people have laughed at you and called you names. I don't care about that. When God himself decides that it is time for you to come out of that situation, oh, yeah. you will come out in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you won't come out at night in broad daylight oh, yes. when your enemies are there. That is why David was saying, he set a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He anoints my head and my cup runs over. Amen. He, he has to do it. Mm -hmm. God is going to lift you from where you are and everybody who thought you would never get there oh, yeah. will come back and say, how did you get there? Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That is if they are still genuine. Mm -hmm. Because the fake ones will not even come. Mm -hmm. They will just start hating you from far. Mm -hmm. Amen. Those that are blessed, they can at least come and say, tell me how you did it. Yes. But the rest, they will stay just far away and gossip and lie and say things. Yes. Mm -hmm. But that does not change it. Yes. Yeah. Are we together, people of God? Amen. As a man thinketh in his heart, mm. so is he. So you are what you are thinking. Right. Mm. Tell your neighbor, you are what you are thinking. You are what you are thinking. So don't waste time here. If you are women, please don't let your hair get finished coming to me for my hand to be on top of you. And all the hair is coming out until you look like those old madalas of the 1946s. The hair will get finished as we lay hands on you. But nothing will ever change until you begin to see yourself as something that you want to become. Don't worry about what situation you are today. If that one does not matter. Where you are going has nothing to do with where you are today. Amen. Who you are going to become has nothing to do with where you are today. Amen. Today is not the conclusion. Amen. It is just a season that you are going through. Amen. But time continues to move and you will continue to be translated to the next level until you get to where God wants, to, wants you to be. God is taking you somewhere. Amen. Tell your neighbor God is taking you somewhere. God is taking you somewhere. You are just on a journey. Yeah. Yes. But this journey, it has got some stops. You can stop at some filling station. You put on fuel, you buy some coke, you sit down, you drink, and then you are ah, no, we'll start at half twelve. Then you move on, you find an accident on yeah. the way, you stop, hey, what is happening? No, the fire brigade are re removing the cars that are damaged, the road is clear, then you can go after one hour, hey, they've delayed us. That's a journey. Yes. yes. So we are all on a Jenny. And we are going to arrive. Mm. Where we are going, where we are arriving, God is already there waiting for us to arrive. Amen. And what God is doing is, God is cheering you up, clapping yeah. hands for you. Come on, my daughter. Come on, my son. Come on. You will arrive where I want you to be. So no matter how many times you can fall along the way, no matter how many times the devil can hit you left, right, and center, God is already in your destiny. Amen. And he's saying you will... Definitely arriving here. Yeah, yeah. I don't care with the troubles that yeah. you face along the way. Mm. 
Hallelujah. But many believers today, when they are hit along the way, when they meet an accident along the way, when the petrol is finished along the way, when they have a puncture along the way, they will give up and say it is over. Yes. But God is saying, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If you are on that journey and there is a puncture along the way, as long as your mind still tells you that I'm a blessed woman, that I will build my house, that I will have a successful business, that I will have my marriage, that I will continue to go higher, that I will help many people in my community, you still think about it even if you have a flat tire. God is saying you are that person that you are thinking. Amen. Hallelujah. So it's very important to think about what you are thinking. Mm. Many people never think about what they are thinking. If you go to our channel, there's a teaching that I did, which is which is entitled The Trains of Thought. Mm -hmm. And in that I was explaining that some people in their minds they they enter into trains. You know a train. There's no U-10. Yeah. Okay. If you enter into a wrong train and it's going to Cape Town and you were coming to Limpopo, a shame. Mm. You can't stop it along the way and say, hey, driver, stop. Mm. Or make a U-10. A train is not a car. Mm. Mm -hmm. It will just take, you will have to drop where, you, where the train is going. Mm. And then you come back again. Mm. That is wastage of time. Yeah. Are we together? Yeah. Yeah. So I was explaining that in some people's heads, there are trains that the devil packs. There are trains of God. There are trains of the devil. Mm -hmm. But you need to be very careful before you enter a train, whose train it is and whether it is going where you are going. Mm -hmm. If you go into a wrong train and you discover that it's a wrong train along the way, there's no reverse. Mm -hmm. So some people, they allow their minds to drift. You enter into a time of thinking and you start to think from one thing to the next to the next until you get you don't even remember where you are yes. some people can sit and think for one hour without knowing that they've been sitting for one hour mm -hmm. and yet where they have been going they've been thinking about negativity mm -hmm. i know that this life i'm not going to make it whatever that i was planning shall not work this business i want to start i know i will never get that man that person who is owing me i know they will never pay me or oh, this situation of not having food i know we will continue to be like this i know there's nothing that is over going to be right mm. one hour mm. my god <laughs> you know what you are doing to yourself you are just becoming what you are thinking and you are slowly going in that train. Mm. So somebody must learn never to uh, uh, jump onto a wrong train. Yes. You need to first of all ask that driver, where are you going? Yeah. 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 I'm not going where you are going. Yeah. So when the devil brings that mind of saying, this suffering will not go, you will yeah. continue to suffer like that. You say, hey, hey, hey hold on. Yes. I'm not entering your train. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm entering the train that is saying, as the man thinketh, so is he. Yeah. I'm entering a train that is saying, I am blessed, I am not yeah. cursed. Yeah. I'm entering a train that is, that is saying, I am rich, I am not poor. Yeah. The one that is saying, I'm the first and not the, the last. last. That is my train. Yeah. I don't want your trains. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Are we together, people of God? Yeah. It is you that has to refuse it. Mm. Right inside your head. Mm. And one thing that I always advise people is whenever you have negative thoughts, speak to them. Don't just fight them quietly. Okay. Speak. Okay. Because there are spirits yeah. All right. that speak inside us. Mm -hmm. You have to, when they start to speak whatever they are speaking, you speak out also. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And say, you know what? I'm not going to entertain your nonsense. Can you quickly pack your bags and go? Mm -hmm. Even if somebody comes and says, Who are you talking to? You say, I'm talking to God. I want to get that of God. Amen. It is very, very important to monitor what you are thinking. Mm. We are a product of our thoughts. Right. Mm. God has already blessed us, but our thoughts have stopped us from reaching where God wants us to be. Mm. By now, somebody should be very, very far from where you are today. Mm. But the mind that you have 
your thinking patterns are the ones that have stopped you from becoming who God wants you to become. There are some people that are going to go to, to be raptured or to die without reaching where God wanted them to reach when they, are, when they were on earth because their minds never accepted it. When there was drought in Samaria, Elisha the prophet came and he declared that tomorrow by this time, there will be so much food and wheat and everything by the gate of Samaria. And the, the, even the uh, wheat shall be sold for just one shekel. And there was a man who was guarding at the gate. He knew how long Samaria had gone in hunger. There was so much hunger in Samaria that even women were eating their own children. Mm. There was so much hunger in Samaria that even the head of a donkey was so expensive to buy. So this guard at the gate of Samaria had the man of God declaring that tomorrow there will be so much food at this gate. Then what did he say? He said, no matter, even if God can open the gates of heaven mm. and the windows of heaven, mm. there is nothing like that that can ever happen. Mm. Getting used to the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Many people have gotten used to the problem. Mm. Yes. To the point that they, they now refuse with it. Mm. It's now theirs. Yes. No, it's our poverty. Because you grew up from your home and your father was just telling you, my son, we, you know that we are poor. Uh, my son, you know that we don't have. And you also became a parent and you continued singing the song, you know that we are poor. My children, you know that we have nothing. And you will never go anywhere. Elijah the prophet said to the man at the gate, you are going to see this food. It is going to be in abundance at this gate, but you shall not eat any of that mm. and what happened was when there was so much food at the gate the following day people were rushing for the food you now tried you know security guards how, how they quickly panic when they see people you wanted to put order hey 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 stop where are you going hey wait and then there was a stampede and they stepped on him he died he died before he ate the first grain of wheat ah, my God. Yeah. you will see it but you will not it is. Mm. Are we together, people of God? Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. There are some people who are going to see others blessed, and you will swallow saliva, yeah. not even knowing that the person you are swallowing saliva for, you are actually blessed three times more than them. Yeah. But the problem was your mind. Mm. The way you think. Mm. This is why I am against the idea of people entering churches because you have been frightened, mm. especially the mountain churches, <laughs> the white garment churches. When you go there, they'll tell you that I'm seeing spirit of death here. Ah, if you don't stay here, the whole family is gone. Mm. And people are entering those churches because they have been threatened mm. with the death. So you enter that church because out of what? fear instead of entering out of faith so you will stay there with your fear just being afraid i'm telling you as long as it is fear that is ruling you faith will never come and without faith it is not possible to please god so you, nothing will move glory be to jesus amen genesis 1 26 and uh we'll also read 28 Genesis 1, verse 26 and 28. Then God said, Let us make men in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on earth. Verse 28. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on, the, on this earth. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to listen very carefully here. God said, now let us make men in our what? In, in our image. own image. 
and according to our likeness. There are two things that I want people to understand. A man who was created in the image of God. Yes. An image is a picture. Mm -hmm. So there was somebody who was created in the image of God. And you need to understand what creation means. To create is to bring out something out of nothing. Mm -hmm. When you go to people that make BMW, they can't say we created BMW. They had to have things first that they join together to come up with a BMW. Mm -hmm. That is making, yes. that is not creating. Mm -hmm. To create is to bring out something from nothing. Mm -hmm. So God created man. So that creation was not the making. I hope people understand it. Mm -hmm. God created Adam and then he made Adam. Mm -hmm. The making is when God now was using things where he took soil to make the body. The body is the one that was made. But the creation is making something out of nothing. And God said in our image. The image is just a picture. And this was a picture which was in the mind of God. Mm -hmm. So a man is a mind of God. Mm -hmm. It was an idea in God's thinking. Okay. So man is a spirit. Mm. Because an idea is a spiritual force. All right. Man is a spirit. Do you hear me? Amen. Amen. And God had to bring his idea, which is the image of man. Mm. Then he put it in a body that he made. All right. Okay. Then Adam became a living soul. Mm. Do you hear me? Amen. So which means if you are God's idea, why is it that you are failing? If man is the idea of God, because there is nothing that God ever thought about and that failed. Yeah. Yeah. If God thought about making the world and having the stars hanging, the moon and the sun and everything, it was God's idea yes. and it succeeded. There is no way we have heard that God failed. Yeah. Why is it man is failing when man is God's idea? Mm. So, which means you are the word of God. Because God brought the idea, and that idea, he spoke it. Let us now make man. It became the word of God. Which means you are a product of the word of God. And he spoke again to the word that he had put in the body to become a living soul. And he declared another word to say, be fruitful and multiply and have dominion over the whole earth. Mm -hmm. I want you to understand what this means. Mm -hmm. Fruitfulness and multiplication means everything that you touch must prosper. Yes. Yes. Everything that you start must succeed. Yes. Amen. Amen. Anything that you think about must move. Amen. Amen. Because God is already what? Commanded it to happen. Yes. When he said be fruitful and multiply. Amen. Amen. And he said have dominion. Yes. To have dominion is to dominate. Yes. To be the boss yeah. of everything that you are running, mm -hmm. every place you get to. Mm -hmm. Man was given that spiritual ability through the declaration of the word of God mm -hmm. over us. Mm -hmm. But why is man now failing? I will tell you the reason why man is failing. Man is failing because he was removed from the spirit and then attached to the body. When he was attached to the body, he now developed a soul and the soul is the one that has thoughts feelings attitudes yes and these ones are now the ones that control the behavior of man mm. to the point that up to today even god when he says you are blessed it comes to the soul of man the soul now living in the body and having experienced so much hardship mm. It, the mind now, the thinking patterns in the man will start to say, is the word of God really true? Yeah. That you are in blessed. Yes. With all these problems that I am having, I don't think I am blessed. Yes. It means now the soul is now blocking the word of God. It is now causing man to begin to think in a negative way, to have a negative self-image when God is declaring a positive self 
image. This is why man is failing. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. This is the gospel that the believers of today need to hear. Not the prophesying. Are you together? Are we together, people of God? Amen. So now, now that you know that the word of God does not fail, and you are also a product of the word of God, you are also a product of the mind of God, and whatever He thinks, it succeeds. So where is your problem? Your problem is now in the soul, where your thinking is, where your feelings are. Those are the ones that are running in front of the word. Yeah. When we say now, God is saying. Give and it will be given back. Ah, you start to say, no, no, what about if it does not come back? Mm -hmm. Who is now saying that? It is the mind. As a man thinketh, so shall he become. Mm -hmm. The moment that your thinking will stop the word of God, it means now the word of God will never be fulfilled over your life. Mm -hmm. And when the word of God is not fulfilled over your life, whose word shall be fulfilled? Yes. The devil's. My God. The devil will come and say, you are good for nothing. Yes. You are just poor. Yeah. You are useless. Just look at you. You have nothing. How many pairs of shoes do you have? Mm. Just look at that one. It's very old and ugly. Mm. Do you have money to buy? Mm. You don't have. Will you ever get money? No, you are not working. Mm. Where will you get a job? God will never give you a job. Why would God give you a job? After all, yesterday you were lying and you cheated. So you will remain like that. And you are entertaining that for hours and hours and hours mm. and some people are always in the negative mm. are we together Amen. Amen. don't be negative in the way that you think you need to have a positive self image Amen. once you develop that don't worry about what people think or say yeah. and one thing I want to tell you move away from people that are negative mm. Amen. Some other people, your problem is you are always in the midst of negative yeah. people. Yes. When you say, ladies, you know what? I'm thinking of starting to sell some jackets. You still jackets, what kind of school? What <laughs> in purple? <laughs> okay, uh, let me think of something else. I was thinking maybe I can start to sell some uh, some cool drinks, maybe at the school there. Yeah, just look at you. You want to just go and embarrass yourself hey, in front of everyone to see that you are poor. <laughs> <laughs> there are people that are so negative yeah. to the point that when you stay with them you won't move yeah. because yeah. anything that you say they will crush it yeah. anything that you say they will say it, don't, it doesn't work yeah. anything that you want to try they will say wait you seen that working mm. Mm. to the point that we have even believers that have left God because somebody said, uh, since when have you been going to this church? But look yeah, at you. Yeah. Just, just, uh, yeah, just look at you. Mm. So why are you suffering? Some of us, uh, we wake up on Sunday, we're already at the pub. Mm. But I bought a car. And you? Yeah. Mm. And it will be very true because the car will be there. Yeah. Hey, my God. Mm. As if the car would drive to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> I went to get the program. Amen. Never allow negative people around Amen. you. When you choose friends, choose friends that are that are able to encourage you when you want to do what you want to do. Amen. Never allow anybody to say that you are nobody. Yes. Who are they anyway to say that you are nobody? Mm. When the God who created you has said you have dominion in the world. Mm. When he has said be fruitful and multiply. Mm. When he has said you are blessed. When he said you are the apple of my own eye, mm -hmm. and somebody, when he says you are wonderfully and fearfully made, mm -hmm. and somebody, somebody who has got a smelling mouth yeah. will come and tell you that you are just so ugly and you are just nothing. Yeah. I went to get the people of God. Amen. You would rather stay alone like me than stay with people that are negative. Mm -hmm. yes. Because you keep your positive mind alone yeah. mm -hmm. without anyone throwing in some dead little negative minds in you. Mm -hmm. Because most of these negativities, they come from outside, yes. from people that are outside. Mm -hmm. And we must fight that. Amen. 
Move away. Don't worry about losing friends. Yeah. Though, anyway, those are not friends anyway. Mm. Why should you call them friends? Yeah. Someone after you buy your own beautiful dresses, this hey, hey, that's a China dress. How can you say a China dress is beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> I want to get that beautiful. Amen. Don't be discouraged yes. by somebody who does not even know God. Amen. Someone who is destined for fire. Yes. You must just tell them that you know what? You are firewood yeah. for the devil. <laughs> Waiting for you this. The hell will be very hot because it's you who will be burning. Yeah. You are just a charcoal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Amen. You are created in the image of the most high God. Amen. There is no mistake, not even a little one in you. The mistakes that you yourself did are forgiven already. Yes. You are washed by the blood of yeah. the Lamb of Amen. God. Amen. And the blessing of the Lord is upon you. Amen. And the destiny that is in the mind of God is waiting for you. Amen. God is waiting for you right where your millions are. Yes. Right where your businesses are. Amen. Right where your houses and your Amen. Amen. And, your and he says, come on, come on, come on, my child. Yes. I'm waiting for you here. I know you will arrive. Right. Amen. So don't worry about the punchers. Yes. Don't worry about the humps. Mm. Don't worry about the stop signs. Yes. Those are supposed to be there. Amen. But you continue telling yourself that I know who I am. Yes. So I am created in his image. Amen. I know where I am going. Amen. I know what I'm made of. Amen. I know that I'm his image. Amen. I've been given a declaration Amen. that I multiply anything I touch. Amen. That I am blessed in anything I do. Amen. That I prosper in almost all things. Amen. That I'm the most beautiful of all. Amen. That I'm the most handsome of all. Amen. I don't care what people think, Amen. but I know who I am. Amen. Because I listen to what my God says. Amen. I want somebody to just stand on your feet and declare oh, yeah. your destiny. Declare that I know I am going first. I'm coming out of this situation. This is just a journey that I am on. But I'm pushing on. I'm moving on. In the name of Jesus, I will never fail. I am the image of God. Somebody continue to pray, 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 somebody, pray, somebody. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. amen. I want somebody to confess again. I'm created in the image of God. I am created in the image of God. I am the apple of God's eye. I am the apple of God's eye. I'm created to succeed. I am created to succeed. I am created to prosper. I am created to prosper. My life does not end here. My life does not end here. God is waiting for me. God is waiting for me. Right in the success of my destiny. Right in the success of my destiny. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. I am the best. I am the best. I am the head. I am the head. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am not cursed. I am not cursed. I'm the first. I am the first. And not the last. And not the last. I refuse. I refuse. The gospel of the devil. The gospel of the devil. And all his agents. And all his agents. I am listening. I am listening. And believing. And believing. Only what God says. Only what God says. And what God says. And what God says. Is who I shall become. Is who I shall become. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let's pray for Jesus. Yes. As I pray, Father, thank you for your word. Amen. Amen. Thank you that today somebody is leaving this place with a positive self image. Amen. Amen. I am cursing every negative voice yes. that has been speaking in their mind. Amen. And I'm shutting that door with fire. Amen. And I'm declaring that the devil will not have dominion in their thinking process. Amen. Amen. They will think your word. Amen. They will act your word. Amen. They will eat your word. Yes. And they will live your word. Amen. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord bless you. Amen. May He cause His face to shine upon you. Amen. May He raise His countenance upon you. Amen. Bless you as you have come. Bless you as you go. Amen. May the angels of this.